Hi guys, and welcome to day six of uh, the Totally Clueless Oktoberfest 2017. And I'm toying with the idea of just doing as many as I possibly can. I don't know yet. Well, you'll see, depending on how big the playlist is and that sort of thing. Because uh, I enjoy doing this sort of stuff. Um, there's just something really satisfying about it, even though there's nothing vastly different. Um, for the most part between beer and beer, but I don't know, I just like it, maybe make some sort of like a comprehensive uh, look at Oktoberfest beers. We'll never know, and uh, the cats decided to cough. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately for some of you guys, we're back with the AB InBev crowd, and I've, uh, I've been allowed to come back from hell after yesterday's review. And we're going over to the Spartan Proud Eye, who are part of that little group um, with Leuvenbroi and Francis Karner. And I think Spartan own uh, other small breweries. I'm, I'm not too sure. I was uh, watching uh, one of Jay Terrio's uh, old examination videos. He was doing the uh, Spartan Munich Hellers. So uh, they've been, you know, in the game for quite a while, as you probably already know, and these guys are one of the main uh, breweries when it comes to the Oktoberfest. So, uh, yeah, I have reviewed this one already, if I remember correctly, because um, I did review a few Oktoberfest beers last year. But uh, for the purpose of science, I'm uh, revisiting it. And uh, mainly because it was one of the only ones that I could find. It was in the supermarket. It like appeared last week or something like that. So that tells me that you could just get at any time a different Oktoberfest or Fest beer. So uh, there's still hope that I'll be able to get an Augustina Oktoberfest beer this year. Anyway, not talking about that one. We're talking about this beautiful artwork. Very simple, straightforward keeps in with the Oktoberfest theme. You've got the Bavarian flag in the background as well. Lovely illustration. I do like the logo for Spartan. And uh, yeah, this is clocking in at 5.9%. So it's still on the higher end of the spectrum of these beers, although we have had higher ABVs, if you remember. Um, I hope you've been watching these every day. Anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a Friday night, about to do myself some chicken. So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get the beer opened and see what we get. Lovely label on the neck as well, and there is a really handsome little crown. So, let's get this one into the the mass and see what we get. I can't actually remember what I initially thought of this beer, but I do invite you to check out that review uh, just out of interest. I know I should probably revisit my reviews of the beers that I have done, but I don't want past experiences to uh, what's the, the word, to sort of influence my opinion this time around. So I want to try and go in as blind as I can, so I can be as objective as I can be. And I hope that comes across with these videos, and my videos in general, to be honest. Anyway, enough waffling, let's get the beer finished into the glass. Might give it a little bit more of an aggressive pour this time, because I do like it when it's got a head in terms of the presentation anyway. So uh, yeah, there we go. And there's a, a little fruit fly who wants to join me for a drink. Everyone's welcome on the Clueless Drinker channel. Get away. So, beer in a glass then. And that is a lovely golden colour. Again, just like yesterday's beer, it sort of falls into that more of a, just a, a general Hellas sort of look to it. Maybe a little bit more of a, a roasted tone in this one. Maybe a very slight copper in there. But it is predominantly just like a lovely golden straw-like 
somewhat deep golden colour, it has to be said. Beautiful clarity, as always, and beer poured with about two fingers worth of a lovely foamy head. And uh, yeah, the great thing about beers like this is if you have it in glassware like this, it's always going to look good, and that fly is pissing me off right now. So uh, yeah, let's see what the fuss is all about, and see what the aroma's like. And it's got, unfortunately, a slight metallic sort of aroma, which could probably subside now that the beer's in the glass, but initially you get a hint of that. It has got that sort of um, ever, ever, ever so slight farty baked bean sort of aroma. Like a little bit of a savoury edge. But you do get those, like, like a big hint of barley and like a nice soup vegetable mix, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, very slight lemony sherbetty tone, but very slight. It's got that like powdery um, sensation to it in terms of the malt character as well. A little bit biscuity, like a plain biscuit, a little bit of a cracker. There is a very slight herbaceous tone, um, which I'm I'm guessing it's the hops. And yeah, that, that metallic-y, farty, baked bean sort of aroma has died down a little now that it's settled in the glass a little bit. But that being said, this is probably the, the least pleasant uh, beer that I've uh, reviewed so far in terms of the aroma on the Oktoberfest reviews. But it's not too offensive. It's not off-putting. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why the, the fly's excited about the aroma, but I'm excited about getting it drank. Kind of. Prost. Just like the Leuvenbroi Oktoberfest beer, this to me just tastes like a, a fairly standard slightly less quality um, Heller's beer. It's got like a slight powdery sense in there. Um, I don't know, there's just this like little little powdery graininess in there. I'm not too sure if they've used um, what sort of hops or I mean malts they've used if they've used extract or not. Of course, look on the back label, you idiot. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, it, the, it, in terms of extract, it just says it's got hop extracts in the, with the hops, which is fairly common. Uh, but it just says barley malts. It doesn't really go into too much detail at all. But yeah, it's got this sort of like very slight grainy chalkiness to it. Very crisp, lower end of medium body to it, but not too light. That carbonation as you're drinking it isn't too much, but it seems to somehow get a little bit harsher on the back end, almost like a slight carbonation burn. But then there's this slight, slight that metallic aroma, I'm getting that now on the back end on the flavour. And it's really quite evident that this has used hop extracts. I don't know, I find they have this like odd tinge to them whenever I've had a beer. Uh, some obviously you pick it up more than others. Unfortunately, this is quite evident in this one. We have one more taste. Very, very slight lemony flavour in the background. Yeah, this just to me tastes like a, a run of the mill Hellas beer. And that, that's about it, really. It's got some odd flavours in there, but not too offensive. It is drinkable, it's not like you have to pour it down the sink or anything like that. But um, I have to say, it's probably the least enjoyable one that we've had so far. And, yeah, um, I'd recommend it 
to give it a go. <clears throat> but as you've seen this week, there have been some fantastic examples of the style, and unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Uh, you'd also you'd like be led to believe that they've just like relabeled one of the like premium lager sort of beers. Which is a real shame, because there's nothing really special or festy about it. Uh, in terms of the concept of Oktoberfest, I suppose, you know, this would do okay. Maybe food would help bring out some flavours. I don't know. But, for me personally, uh, it's okay. It's it's not a bad beer. It's just got little twinges and twanges, that's not a proper term, but, you know, little twangs of off flavours in there. And it almost tastes like a really cheaper brand of beer, to be honest. Yeah, I'm actually interested as to what I thought of this beer last time. Maybe I'll watch that. Although I hate watching back reviews. Or maybe I'll just leave it. I'm sure people will uh, point out that in the comments uh but yeah it, it's it's not bad but i've had much much better so in terms of a rating then on the spartan oktoberfest beer i'm gonna give it a six out of ten um it's slightly above average but those off flavors make it not the best drinking experience so if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Are you a fan of the brewery? What are some of your favourite beers from them? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. As always, let me know your favourite Oktoberfest beers and any Oktoberfest experiences that you've had. I'm always happy to hear them. Uh, do please check out previous reviews for some better examples of uh, this sort of beer. And uh, yeah, just like yesterday... I keep saying yesterday when it was like recorded like a week earlier. Um, I have no idea what the next beer is. And uh, that's part of the fun, I suppose. And hopefully it's a little bit better than this one. So, thank you guys for watching. And I shall hopefully see you all later. Prost. And I'm not going to put any fancy editing at the end of this one. Because I can't be bothered. Cheers.